Yes, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to GEA Fan TV. I hope you're doing wonderfully well. Uh, obviously this lockdown continues and um, we are all kind of losing our minds at the moment, going a bit crazy and whatnot, da 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 da. But look, listen, uh, we have to get on with it. We have to make the most of the time that we have. And of course I'm back with another video and what I thought I would do today is look at the All-Ireland Final back in 2012 between Donegal and Mayo. Um, one of the reasons why I picked out this final is because I do actually remember it very well. Donegal, of course, this was a huge moment in their history. Just their second ever All-Ireland title to date. Their only other All-Ireland title was back in 1992 when they beat Dublin. And this was also the start of the era of this very great Mayo side. Now, obviously, this Mayo side never went on to win the All-Ireland. However, this was the start of them. Um, you know, multiple great players like Lee Keegan, Aidan O'Shea, Killian O'Connor. This was their first All-Ireland appearance. And of course, um, they would go on to make multiple All-Ireland appearances over the next six to eight years. So, yeah, guys, what I'm going to do is react to this video, give my thoughts and opinions as the game goes on. Now, of course, if you do want me to uh, react to any other um, matches or games in the past, do let me know down in the comments below. Um, I'm more than happy to take a look at a game that anyone uh, recommends. But yeah, lads, all right, let's uh, let's jump straight into it. Donegal versus Mayo 2012 all Ireland final. Let's go. And one of the reasons why I remember this final very well was because I actually had a ticket to the final, but I didn't go. Dublin weren't there. I kind of look back and think, should I have still went? You know, but it seemed right at the time. We ended up selling the tickets to Mayo fans, and that made the perfect sense. And um, we just basically, on the day, outside Crow Park, got chatting to a couple of Mayo fans who didn't have tickets, and uh, they, it was their lucky day. They got tickets. Around, around I think between like 2011, 2012, and 2013, I very often got tickets um, to All Ireland Finals, which I was very, very lucky for. Unfortunately, 2011 was the only All Ireland Final I'd been to. And here we go. Good ball by Michael Murphy. Look at that directness from Donegal. That's that's how they love to play. Uh, I know a lot of people kind of criticise that Donegal side um, that did reach this All Ireland Final and won the All Ireland, and even in 2011 when they came up against Dublin, but. You know, I think you have to give Donegal a lot of credit for the tactics that they've uh, that Jim McGuinness put out. Um, the physicality of the team, they were very strong, they were very quick. They broke very quickly with hand passing um, on the counter attack and obviously they were very direct into their full forward line. Um, to the likes of Colin McFadden and obviously uh, Michael Murphy as well. Here's Carol Lacey, long ball into the box, great ball taken down by Michael Murphy and what a finish. Brilliant goal by Michael Murphy, look at that. Sensational stuff. I have to say, it feels weird seeing him with, with hair. I'm not going to lie. Normally he's bald, but uh, yeah, Michael Murphy. Look at this. Great take. Turns him. Bang. Yeah, it's tough for, for Kevin Kane there marking Michael Murphy. To be honest, there's not too many who can mark uh, Michael Murphy, in my opinion. I feel like he's probably... He's one of my favourite footballers to, to never play for Dublin, in my opinion. Um, and I think he's he's undoubtedly one of the best footballers of the past 15 years or so. 10 years maybe, I should say. See, this this is it with Donegal. You see the way they transition there. They all stay in line. Quick hand passes. They play, they, they almost play diagonally. And look at this, just from side to side, side to side. And here we go. Off the post, but of course there's a chance here. Colin McFadden, boom, in the back of the net. Two goals, seven points. This was the problem with Mayo, unfortunately, in this final. They, they, there were certain moments in, in every final for Mayo where they sort of collapsed um, and they weren't able to respond in an efficient way, obviously, to get the job done. But there were certain moments where the momentum of the opposition just caved on them and, unfortunately, they were unable to deal with it. And that's a brilliant finish there by uh, Colin McFadden. And I think the difference here in this final was that Donegal just came out way stronger. They were way quicker, more physically prepared. Um, I don't think it was necessarily a case of inexperience for Mayo because let's not forget that this Donegal side hadn't been in the All-Ireland final up until then either. They were essentially inexperienced as well, but um, but certainly it told a lot more here on this Mayo side as they were very slow to get going in this opening 10 to 12 minutes here. So here we go, Donegal on the attack again. Carl Lacey with the long ball. Murphy, great play. Oof. Donegal absolutely tearing Mayo to shreds here. And that was a big chance. And again, we know we see that directness from Donegal. Long ball from Lacey into McFadden. And that was, or into Michael Murphy. And that was very much the outlet for Donegal. Um, you know, Colin McFadden, Michael Murphy, two strong, tall, physical players. Long balls into them, front two. 
um, and they could cause absolute havoc and made it very difficult for uh, any side to deal with them. Um, and I think that's one of the main reasons why Donegal were so successful. Let's not forget, you know, two years later they beat uh, Dublin in an All Ireland semi final, the only team to have beaten Dublin, um, to beat Jim Gavin's Dublin in the championship. And that was a great point there by uh, Andy Moran. Showing his, um, you know, his experience. Of course, he, he was one of the men who would have played. I think in that uh, All Ireland final versus Kerry back in uh, 2006, was it? Who's Donegal? Meanwhile, fantastic point there. Look at that, very coolly and calmly done from uh, Alan Bradley. Brilliant point there. Mayo are just too standoffish here. They're allowing Donegal to play. They're allowing Donegal to knock the ball around pretty much with uh, with ease there, and that's uh, creating a bit of an issue for. For this, Mayo, or for this Mayo team because Donegal are allowed to play those long balls over the top and of course they're allowed to pick points and really drive at Mayo and cause them all sorts of havoc as a result and here's another one Colin McFadden that's unbelievable that's unbelievable from Colin McFadden I mean what a player he was as well I think him and Michael Murphy the standout players in this game without doubt and to be fair to Mayo there there's not too much they could have done there I mean he's 45 yards out and that seems to be how Donegal were very much operating. You know, you could tell they were working on their target practice, their shooting practice, um, you know, from distance. Killian O'Connor, McLaughlin, that's a good point from Mayo. Very easily done, well taken. Mayo back in the game a little bit now, just six points in the difference. Don't think Killian O'Connor meant that entirely, but it did work out. Mayo in tune there with the attack, and of course it breaks the and the Varley, he comfortably puts it over the bar, great point. And Mayo here starting to close the distance, again they hit the post, just a little bit unlucky Mayo at times in this game. And that's the thing about Mayo a lot of the time in these All-Ireland Finals, is they always did still have the quality. The quality, this, it was never a doubt in quality with this Mayo side, they always had it there, and that's why many a times they would pull themselves back from losing positions, because they would have the skill and they would have the quality. It was just a, a necessity of belief and sort of capitalising on that momentum that sometimes let them down. Mayo starting to turn the screw here towards the end of the first half. You can see Donegal maybe just a little bit tired. You know, they really went for it in those opening 15 to 20 minutes. Exerted a lot of energy and now Mayo are just slowly kind of drawing that lead back a bit. And that's outstanding. That's a world-class point. Look at that. Michael Conroy. Outstanding. Look at this. Turns. What a finish. A man who played in the All-Ireland Final versus Kerry in 2004 and 2006. And look at that for a point. That's outstanding. And Mayo, look, look at the Mayo fans, they're starting to believe now, they believe they have a chance here. Chasing Doherty, you know what, the halftime whistle came at a bad time for Mayo, because they're really starting to turn the screw here. But standing from end of Arley, he's been one of the standout players in this game. And that's a brilliant point. Mayo's big players probably didn't stand up enough in the first half, maybe, the likes of Killian O'Connor, Lee Keegan, but to be fair, um, you know, some great performances from end of Arley, Michael Conroy, and Frank McGlynn there with an outstanding point. Under a little bit of pressure, it's a tough angle. And Donegal have been very precise with their finishing in this game. They've, they've been very accurate with their finishing and, and that's, that's another fantastic point there. Just look at that pressure from Donegal and that's what they were so good at. Three or four men around the attacking uh, player in the half forward line or the full forward line. Just making it very difficult for them. No bother for killing O'Connor with that free kick. Very easily done. And again, McFadden, he's just, again, he's, he, Mayo can't control him. McFadden and Michael Murphy, that's been the main issue for Mayo in this game. They just, especially Colin McFadden, they just can't get anywhere near him. For McFadden, he wins the ball nine times out of 10, and he's very easily able to shrug off his man, whether it is Colin Kane, um, or anyone else for that matter. He makes it very, he makes it look very easy. And Michael Murphy from this free kick, he isn't going to miss. This is definitely another point for Donegal. So we've got about 10 minutes to go here in Mayo. They really need to throw the kitchen sink at it now. They need to really go for it. But the problem is Donegal's endurance and physicality is very hard to keep up with. There's not many teams in the country that can at this stage. Rory Kavanagh sending it in again. How many times have they done that in this game, Donegal? Into Michael Murphy, Colin McFadden. Jim McGuinness has definitely probably looked at that before this game and said that's an area where we can hurt this Mayo side. If we hit it into that uh, box area, into the full forward area, more, more often than that, Michael Murphy and Colin McFadden will win the ball nine times out of ten, creating either goal chances or will at least take the point. 
Okay, McLaughlin Mayo need to... They haven't created much goal chances in this game. They haven't been able to break through any goal. They're going to need to create goal chances. It's a good point, though. They win the they win the kick out. It's important. Who are they going on the attack now? Lee Keegan. Over the bar. That was close. Imagine if that had gone in. That would have been crazy. Look at this from Lee Keegan. I mean, he's obviously gone for the point there. I'll tell you what, if that if that had dropped into that D area where Killian O'Connor was, you never know. And if Mayo had, a, had a got a goal there, you just never know. With the momentum, they might have been able to, to make something more out of this. But again, Tony Gall with the quick intricate hand passing. It's very, very easy from Donegal and, and that's that's very much how they play. Quick intricate passing mixed with a direct long ball approach to Colin McFadden and Michael Murphy and Mayo just aren't able to counteract that whatsoever. You know perhaps what James Horn maybe should have done is put a bigger man, a stronger man on one of the Donegal forwards in Michael Murphy and Colin McFadden but of course let's not forget that this was Donegal's first uh, all Ireland final under Jim McGuinness. Perhaps um, they just weren't quite ready. They didn't quite expect that uh, Colin McFadden and Michael Murphy would be that strong. That's a good point, by the way, there from Jason Young. Kevin McLaughlin. Always reliable for Mayo. They need something here in the closing minutes. Oh, here's a chance. Great play. Very unlucky there. Great play for Mayo. I mean, look at the way they just move the ball. Kevin McLaughlin again. He's just so quick and intricate with the ball. He shimmies a couple of players. Gets into that decisive area. Offloads it into Lee Keegan. Alan Freeman into Shamie O'Shea. Just shimmies one or two players. Gets the opportunity. Doesn't. He loses his balance just as he's taking the chance. So it's he's unfortunate there. But it's great play from Mayo and they're a little bit unlucky. If they get that goal, they're uh, within touch and distance. And there we have it, Donegal, the All-Ireland Champions in 2012. And you know what? Fair play to them. They absolutely deserve it on the basis of that performance. And Jim, McG Jim McGuinness, in many ways, was an exceptional manager of that Donegal side. He just knew how to get the best out of them in the decisive moments. And especially in that final, as we were saying, you know, Donegal's blanket defence approach just was mind-boggling for Mayo. They couldn't break through. Like, let's not forget, this was this Mayo side, this was their first All-Ireland final. Bit of inexperience there in that opening 10 to 15 minutes. Donegal's uh, direct approach, hitting the ball into Colin McFadden and Michael Murphy, was just weight, was too difficult for Mayo to counteract. Um, and as you very well know in Gaelic football, when you are coming up against the blanket defence side, whether it is Donegal, Tyrone, Armagh, or other sides in the past, once you are behind, it's very difficult to turn it around. And Donegal, they just managed that lead. Once they got in front, they managed it. They controlled it. They allowed Mayo to have the possession at times. And then when Donegal had possession, counter-attacking counter with quick intricate passing, uh, direct approach, long balls into Murphy and McFadden. And, and in the end, that was the difference. And that's what got Donegal over the line in this All-Ireland Final. And you know, I often look back at this Donegal side under Jim McGuinness and I think... Did they overachieve in winning the All Ireland that year? You know, Dublin had won the uh, All Ireland 2011. This coming into 2012 was the last year under Pat Gilroy. Probably didn't quite have the same level of motivation. Um, but at the same time, you know, Kerry weren't anywhere close in 2012, and you have to give Tony Gall credit for that as well. Um, and then sometimes I also think maybe did they underachieve? You know, I feel like they should have probably won another All Ireland. I look at that 2014 final. I feel like they were the better team that year. Uh, Kerry were very much coming towards the end of that, of, you know, end of that period for that team. Um, they probably should have won that All Ireland, but they didn't. Had Jim McGuinness maybe have stayed on longer, um, who knows? Donegal probably could uh, could have got another All Ireland under the line. And who knows? Maybe in the future, Jim McGuinness might always come back to Donegal. Um, I would love to see Jim McGuinness back in Gaelic football managing. I think he's one of the best managers in Gaelic football. I think he's proved that with what he's done at Donegal. Um, you know, when he took over, they were. 
you know, very much the, the third or fourth best side in Ulster. You had Tyrone who were ahead of them, Armagh, Monaghan were a good side back then as well. So it was a lot for Donegal to do. And look, listen, fair play to Jim McGuinness. He done a fantastic job in charge of that Donegal side. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. If you have enjoyed, uh, do leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you lads thought of the 2012 All Ireland final when Donegal played Mayo. Um, and of course, do let me know down in the comments below if you want me to do more kind of reaction videos to games in the past. Let me know what games you would like me to watch, whether it is in Gaelic football or in hurling. Um, and yeah, lads, of course, uh, have a, a great week. Have a, a good end to your week. And yeah, lads, of course, I will speak to you soon. All right, cheers. Goodbye.